Hello and welcome back to a foreigner and family in the Philippines. And I'm over here with Lido. He is putting the finishing touches on this paragus. And the paragus is what you, is, uh, <coughs> what you would use for a uh, harrow in the field. Uh, it's like a harrow, except it doesn't have the discs. It just, you draw this through, it breaks up the weeds after you plowed. Uh, and we'll be using this uh, after we harvest the corn to knock down the corn stalks. And those, the steel bar, it's we're like we bought the, the long piece of angle bar. Uh, he's cut it down and shaped it. Uh, we bought the uh, steel rod, which are the rods hanging down. And uh, he's put those, welded those on there and they, they will drag through the ground, break up the uh, the soil that's been plowed or or if it hasn't been plowed over here because it's already fairly loose because it doesn't have a lot of weeds uh, it'll break up the weeds and he's using the this little welding machine I picked up at uh, the Kogan market over in Cagayan for like around 5,000 pesos and that's been used for the, the house build over here because there is a lot of work with the steel bar that goes with uh, getting the right structural support for the, the cement and the hollow blocks. And this harrow, it'll be pulled by the carabao and yeah, we'll use this for uh, when we go get the soil ready for the next corn planting uh, we'll use it for when we're if we got some areas that we're going to plant some crops I do plan on doing some some intercropping with some uh, some crops in between some uh, fruit trees when we get going finally this is basically the same same process with the whole, I mean, he actually built the two carts that I've shown, the Carabao carts that I showed earlier. Um, it's just different shapes, but just, yeah, welding all this steel bar together. I'm going to move over here. We've got some, some corn going. This was a carabao, just dropped off a, a load of the corn that we've been picking up. And this is the, the corn here. And apparently I've got some wimpy carabaos, actually one of them's actually pretty strong, but she's pregnant. So she, her loads are kind of small, but they've had a couple males that we've had to rent to get some help bringing this corn up because the sacks are, they can be anywhere between like 40 and 80 kilos. So some of them are pretty heavy. And then again, right here, this is the shellers here, they're posted up. Uh, we shelled some corn the day before and you're gonna, that's why we're trying to get this, this other corn, the sacks up here so we can shell the rest of it. Is, the amount that we shelled was more than than I just showed there but this is the corn it's that we've actually got tarps laid out here and it is drying so it's going through that process now Whoa. and we over dried last time I bought a little I purchased a little uh, moisture content reader but I haven't received it yet so I'm hoping to get that either real soon <laughs> because I'm gonna have to drive this up to somewhere and have them check the uh, moisture content which is fine I just don't want to over dry it this time and this is day two of its drying and it dries pretty quick up here because it's pretty hot and we've got a breeze up here on the hill It's 
still got some leftover hollow blocks. I know it's kind of awkward setup. We got the carabouts coming in next to the hollow blocks. But it wasn't pre-planned like that. But we're trying to keep the sacks out of the way so that carabout can get through. And these sacks are so heavy. These guys are working so hard that we are doing a, a lunch here. So we've got a little lunch cooking over here. I believe it's some kind of mungo bean type rice dish with some other stuff. And that's it for now. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.